right, guys. So it's Renew Your Spirit Sunday. And so this is what we're doing. We are drinking wine and doing our hair. I did my makeup earlier just to try to make myself feel human. And now I have threatened my, my daughter's life to get her to help me with that. Nah. I'm exaggerating. If, if you did, I it's just fun to it. exaggerate. What can I say? I'm very flushed. I'm in a lot of pain right now. And so this is my second glass of wine. Although it feels like it should be my third because it's been sitting around forever. My first glass went really quickly. But it's taken me forever to get on this one. <clears throat> my inflammation is really bad. My pain is really bad. Um, and I'm trying not to get my kid's head in the, the shot because she's asked not to, so. Um. <sighs> Renew your spirit Sunday. Do something that makes you feel good. Do something that makes your heart smile. For me, doing my hair and my nails, it, like, I see, I, I'm a blind ass biatch, so, like, I don't see much. So, I only see the things that are right in my face. So, like, when I do my nails, I see them all the time. That's something I can actually see. So having bright colors or sparkles or glitter, it, it like, I see it and it brings me happiness and it, it's a good thing. And the same with my hair. Like when I'm sitting in my car, for example, and my hair is actually down, which you guys never see, and like the purple hair falls down and get the sunlight catches it and I just I get a glimpse of that beautiful bright purple it makes my heart smile it makes my soul smile oh god this is really hard to hold it up here because this is oh painful um same reason that I am obsessed with the color purple um I love I think the whole world should be purple Purple is beautiful. It it make it brings me that that sense of joy and happiness and all that good fun stuff. So when my hair is like that bright bright purple, and then it's like and that's why you're dying in red. Well, I like red. Red isn't bad. I mean, I'm out of purple hair dye, and I have I have a tiny uh, or I have a teeny weeny little bit of purple yeah. left. So we're gonna add some of that to the front, but um. Because I have this one child that kept telling me she wanted her hair to be black and purple and red, I have um, a whole bunch of black and red hair dye. Um, and before I started going purple, I was doing reds, like more natural, it's like burgundy deep reds and burgundy reds. Before I just said, "What the hell? Why not go back to purple?" I was purple in high school. Um, ow, that one. Do you need me to get more clips? There's no, no we're right getting a towel. Oh, that's a good idea. This is my new four dollar. Here, no, free. Put it on it's your not four dollars. It was free. I gotta put you down. I got this shirt for free thanks to my daughter being a whiner. Sorry, my alarms were going off to tell me to go do things that like be busy and make my children shower and stuff. I have her trained well. She's a good kid. She really is. She gives me a lot of attitude and bullshit, but that's only because she knows she can get away with it because she's actually a really good kid. Are we all done? Should I sit on the red? Yeah. Um, take some of the clips and, and wrap up the black, and we'll let that sit, and then you can use these up here, and we'll, we'll do this red. Do you think we should bleach it, bleach out more of it, or nah. do you think we should just leave it? That's good. Okay. I started doing more things that were unique and inspired and were what, what I was doing just for myself. And one of those things included in my high school year, my, my high school year, my senior year was um, dyeing my hair purple. Um, and just like, even, even very similar to what I did this time. You know, it started off with, you know, going red and then more burgundy and... Ah, uh, screw it. Let's just do purple because that's what I really want to do. I love purple. But I also, I like, love red hair too. So, you know, as far as more natural tones go, I love red hair. 
Where was I in my story, Kedri? I have no idea. Okay, it was basically similar to now where I started off with the reds and moved on to burgundies and then I just said, screw it, what I really want is purple. I want to be purple. I think the whole world should be purple. Kedri, yeah. your dad is calling you. No, it's B. Oh, okay. B and Kedri, it sounded, it's hard to... So here I am again. Now, here I am, almost 40 years old. And I'm, I, maybe this is a, some kind of crazy midlife crisis. I'm really reliving that fuck it, screw everything part of my teenage years where I'm just like, I'm going to do what makes my heart smile and turn. Did you change your gloves? Yes. Okay. So now I'm doing crazy fun things with my hair again because you know what? I spend my life in pain. Pushing through, like, physical pain. And then there's... Oh, I love the purple. It's so pretty. You know, then there's the, the depression and anxiety, which sucks. But it's part of my reality. And so, like, for me, I feel like I need to take every opportunity that I can to surround myself with things that make my heart smile. So whether that's making, piling glitter on my nails, or dyeing my hair crazy colors, or making silly parodies, or, you know, just making a complete ass of myself because it's fun to me. Like, just like in my teenage years, it took me, oh my gosh, now I'm a teen, you know, I'm here and it took me a long time to become comfortable with myself enough to just say, screw it, I'm going to be me. And I feel like I'm kind of in that phase of my adult years. You know, oh, I'm a parent. I'm expected to be proper and be but who actually does that. You'd be surprised because there's a lot of people who turn, are right. so terrified. Oh my god, turn. I am trying! To the side. Is that better? Yeah. But you'd be surprised, Kathy, because there are a I lot... Wouldn't. There are a lot of people who can't get past of their fear of standing out or being different or being judged or drawing attention to themselves that they can't do Just it. Just have them talk to me, oh my god. <laughs> I love my kids. But I'm back there to where it like, you know what? Yep, I'm an adult. Maybe this is my senior year of adulthood before I turn into like and I don't know, what's the next phase after adult? Death. Not old. Not elderly. I don't know, maybe it is it's not the beginning of old, is it? Oh god, I don't wanna be old. You're gonna be well, I mean, I'm gonna be old eventually, and that's fine. I can I can accept that. Alright, I'm getting tired of holding my phone, so I'll check back in after we do this stuff. Just to show you what happens. That might do it! We'll see. If it falls in 10 seconds, we know this ain't working. I bought a really expensive phone case and clip and all that stuff. I don't know what ever happened to it because I lost it. Welcome to like maybe the third part of my Renew Your Spirit Sunday. It's not gone very smoothly, but we're trying. <laughs> Renew your spirit, recharge, feel rejuvenated, let your worries and stresses fall aside and yeah. Part of my Renew Your Spirit Sunday is I was going to fix my hair. I was going to touch up my hair dye. Turns out I had very little purple left, but my kids suck and have talked me into buying several different blacks and reds. Well, 
not my kids, my Catherine specifically, for like two months before Halloween, she wanted me to get her black and red hair dye so that she could try to be a specific character for Halloween. And then as Halloween approached, she decided she didn't care. Like I bought one red, we tried it out. She's like, it's not the right red, we need something different. So I bought a different red, even though we still had like half of a container of that red still left. She's like, this isn't the right red, I need a different red. And I still need black. So I bought it and it sat in my cupboard. She didn't use it. Halloween came and went. She didn't want to use it. So now the bottom of my hair is black. The top of it is now red. We will see how this goes. So far, I have to say, I need more wine. <laughs> Holy cow. So like so far, I'm really excited about the red and the black. I still wish that I had a nice solid purple streak. <laughs> coconut oil. If you have not experienced the wonderful benefits of coconut oil, you're missing out, dude. This shit is awesome. You can use it for so many wonderful things. You can use it for hair and skin and chat lips and cooking and oh my goodness. It's just, it's wonderful no matter how you look at it. Coconut oil rocks. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna blow dry some shit. Okay. This might work for 10 seconds. Let's see. Don't move! I mean it. Is it worth it? I really couldn't tell you. But it's the point, right? The point is... Putting some effort and energy into something that makes you happy. That makes you feel good. That is not so infuriating that you want to go postal. In my case, any type of hygiene ritual usually makes me want to go postal. Which is why I usually go for like the most simple bullshit because shit's not easy. It's not easy being a girl and trying to do girly stuff. Gosh, it really is a big pain in the booty. Oh my gosh. But there we go. I think this is this is about as good as it's getting. This is me. My hair is down. I, I still have like half of my makeup on from earlier before it all washed off because I'm doing crazy stuff with my hair. <sighs> do this. It's a good thing, right? It's worth it. Make things look up. I actually think this looks pretty cool. I can't see it very good because my eyes are so dried out from the blow dryer. But, alright, so... Get this. Let's see. This is how my hair usually ends up. <laughs> I actually love the colors. I love these bright colors, like in the contrast between the bright colors and the dark colors. It is, it's cool. It makes me happy. It makes me smile. It makes my heart sing. All that good fun stuff. You guys are probably never going to see this because it's frustrating me so much. I'm probably just going to delete it all and you'll just see the end result and I'll just say, hey, I did my hair. None of you will get to see. What a pain in the butt this sh crap really is. What the heck? Fun. Wonderful. Oh, I like it though. Look. It's all dark down here. I don't think it's, it doesn't look black though. It's just me. This is not black. Either Kethry didn't use enough or my hair just didn't take it because I left it in for over an hour and it's not black. But it's dark, so I guess that's good enough for me. Anyways, it was fun! <laughs> just be glad it's not your sanity on the line. 
Anyways, see you guys later. I like the red. The red is pretty. But I feel like the black should be darker. It's not black black. It's more like deep charcoal or something. So I think next time I might be using a more permanent black. Cause I definitely like the contrast between the dark dark and a bright color. So I might just do like keep the black like the dark dark on the back and just do whatever bright color I'm feeling at the moment on the top. I like the color I like the bright colors on top. Although I wish I had I still wish I had a purple streak. Um but Kathy was not wanting to cooperate. So we have red, red, and black. Now my eyeballs need to come out because I'm dying. And bye. Thanks for having fun with me and playing with me for the night. I pampered myself. I'm going to continue to pamper myself. And I'm going to go drink some wine and watch some TV on my phone and take my eyeballs out. I think we can get rid of that one. Hey, <laughs> now you can see me and not be blinded. Isn't that great? Anyways, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you watch tune in tomorrow. Bye. And always look on the bright side of life. Come on. Always look on the bright side of life. For life is quite absurd. And death's a final word You must always face the curtain with a bow Forget about your sin Give the audience a grin